So really, okay, I'm just, hey guys, um, this is kind of going to be a little bit different video. I'm not really going to like maybe quote some scriptures. I don't know. But anyhow, um, something that's been on my heart, uh, always been on my heart, but is the giving piece. Okay. So I'm not, you know, it's not me. I'm not asking for, for me for support or anything. Um, I've got some people that are, that I've, I've befriended on Facebook that, you know, need everything from prayers to some things. Okay, so I'm going to put them together. I told I told them I would, but this is some of the things the Lord's been giving me. He said, gather all you can to give all you can. So, you know, maybe your local church can do some of this. Um, maybe not. Maybe just you might want to. Um, this is kind of where my heart is, though, guys. Okay. I put out a... Uh, uh, fundraising on Facebook, kind of lame, I get it, you know, not that many people really want to do that on Facebook, and people don't want, you know, it's kind of a little bit invasive and intrusive, I get it, um, I didn't really want to do it, but that's what the Lord told me to do, and it was just to get Bibles, and some other stuff, reading glasses and stuff, well, it, you know, generated around a thousand dollars worth of just, some people gave us stuff, some people gave us money, um, but we gave up probably another three or four thousand on top of that ourselves, my wife and I, so it's not like I'm you know, I'm not, okay, but it's the connection part that I'm doing, just, you know, I want to connect with you guys, however that looks, business world, maybe, I've got some business ideas that I need some partnershiping people with, um, I'm start, gonna, working on starting an online business, and I'll tell you guys about that soon, um, and I finally got some time off and some space off this month to get this stuff taken care of. So, because I don't want it to be, I'd like it to be as self-supportive as possible. I'm not, you know, I'm not the begging for offering guy, just not. But, um, but I know God's got something in store, guys. I'm just going to throw this out there, okay? I, I threw this out there one time, and I and I didn't get an answer. But anyhow, I'm I may, may let, let me just get into this. There's four people that I want that the Lord highlighted: Lubanya Navid, L U B N A Navid. He's on Facebook. Um, they have an orphanage. Just look them up, guys. You know, if it just at least look. Okay, see if you would want to get involved in it. There's bunches of them out there. I got 900 friends now all over the place um, and 800 requests. So it's like, man, God, why are you doing this? But for orphans and widows, they're putting together something to have a Christmas dinner for orphans and widows. Uh, Eva Gid, she's, I think it's Kenya, where they got hit really bad with... Uh, one of those torrential rainstorms and it just flooded everything. She never really, I mean, the lady was very polite and didn't even, she didn't even really come out and ask. She just, we just got to conversing and it just kind of came up. But, you know, her house was destroyed. I think even their church was. Um, there's just a big need over there for just that area. So maybe that's on your heart. Shamu, Shamila Walrus. S H U M I L A W A R I S. Um, she did put out some stuff, but it wasn't really invasive or anything. It wasn't even really like in your face, blatant, blah, you know, bling thing. She, they have an orphanage. I forget which country it is. I should have wrote it down. I apologize for that. But just look her up on Facebook too. Um, they need shoes, clothing. She didn't ask for a lot. She just asked for things, you know, and it wasn't even for her. It was just things that the kids are going to need. So, and then there's another guy that's, he just needs prayer. I don't think he'll mind me putting it on this because he did post some things on there. His name is Gabriel Nichols. And he's under a demonic attack, guys, really bad. Um, some censorship. Some censorship, sorry, my computer just went to a different screen. Some censorship um, for some of the things he says, yeah, I get it. You know, sometimes people can say things that are, you know, really, you know, but that's okay. Just, you know, try the spirit, see if it's the spirit of the Lord, you know, test it. Um, and then he's under a personal attack for some of his past. 
just really a bunch of nonsense is a very polite word way for putting it, but it's a demonic attack, guys. So he just needs a lot of our prayer for him and his family because the enemy's trying to steal his voice. It's like mine. I'm not, you know, I've got three or four people that I, I know that have been, and I, those are just people I know that are being censored for putting out scriptures from the Bible mostly. Um, and when there, when there was one on my feet about the army, that bears people putting Bible verses on dog tags, told to stop. But yet they can. <clears throat> there was another one about the Navy said that the some they built some pen, pentagram to worship Satan. And that was okay. Some group. It's like, really, guys? You know, so they're, they're just, he needs a lot of prayer. Okay, they all need prayer, though, guys. If that's all you can do or want to do or feel led to do, pray is great. It's very important. It'll open a ton of things up in the spiritual realm. And in their natural realm, the enemy is coming against us in the natural, guys. I can just tell you, looking all around, um, each each one of these is all the natural stuff that they need. It's coming against, but it's time to give, maybe, or get your church, or put a put a box in front of your church and just gather shoes or coats or whatever, or maybe even you know for your local homeless. Um, there was on one of my feeds. There's a guy he put out a called it a blessing box. It's a box with food, free. Take it. Um, one store ad break free coats, you know, or if you have one to give give um, One couple they did something with groceries free groceries. Maybe it's local Maybe it's just to inspire you to do something in your area um, or for your neighbors Maybe for the, the your neighbor that's the, the the town grouch or whatever or just really a cynical person or whatever I don't know it's time to open up, guys, and it's not just because of Christmas. It's supposed to be that way all the time. I'm going to throw this out there, guys, okay? There's many, many, many things. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I, I kind of got my answer anyhow. But I tell my wife this. Some of the stuff I tell her, it's like, man, that's kind of crazy, but it has to do with businesses, okay? So I don't know. God's going to open some doors. I don't know how. Maybe that's you. Come on down to Dallas. Let's talk. Have coffee, breakfast, or whatever. Um, I just, I've got some really some godly ideas um just need i do need some help but let's connect i need some computer help too but let's connect or maybe even just whatever but this so i know god's going to do some things and i, I mean I, got, I call them landmarks he's done so many things in my life but this is one that i've seen that i'm just going to put it out there okay i don't know maybe maybe you got the factory um i was walking into a meeting and I was buying a ball bearing factory and it had 106 employees. And Lord spoke to me and said, make sure you ask for five years tax returns. I was like, so I'm like, man, I'm not, whenever the Lord speaks to me, I always, you know, have a back and forth conversation, honestly. It's me. I said, well, Lord, why? You know, what's the, I'm not, I'm not that smart of a guy in that area that's just, that, like the computer, that stuff's kind of foreign to me, honestly. Um, so I said, why? And he said, so that they don't try to sell you a business for $10 million that's only worth three. Make sure that they had five very successful years, not just one year as an anomaly that made it look like they're just making a lot of money. So, you know, I've shared with my wife, shared with a few other people. Well, one day I was at the homeless shelter and I shared it with somebody, somebody that was helping us. And he just happened to be in the banking industry. And I don't know why, you know, I'm, you know why would I even come up to somebody that I barely knew? I've been known him a month and even say that. I, I just don't. I told him that story. He started laughing. At first, I was like, man, it look, at first I was a little bit, you know, man, it kind of hurt a little bit, dude. But told him, then I told him the part about the tax. He said, man, that was pretty wise. And then I found out, then he started, then he told me why I was laughing. He said, I just got done. I thought they were all over, chi all over China, you know. I'm figuring out those factories that have already vacated and left America. 
honestly, or most of them. I haven't even Googled it or anything. I haven't even, I have a plan. I do have a plan, his name is Jesus, but, so, he's just doing, he just did a study on that in America, on Mulberry Factories in America. So, you know, I'm not, I wasn't really looking for something to come from him, honestly. I don't think it will, I don't know that it will, I mean, I didn't, maybe, maybe not, but the confirmation of it was what, I was like, okay, God. So I don't know. Anyhow, I'm throwing that out there. But it's just time to give, guys, um, each other. Help the body. Doesn't have to be me. Maybe it's your pastor. Maybe it's a guy and the guy and the gal out and seat next to you. Maybe it's a divorced mom that's having a hard time. I don't know. Or dad, even. Sometimes, you know, the dads get forgiven. Maybe it's somebody that's, you know, struggling with the abortion issues either had one or about to have one or wanting or any of that. Um, it's just time to give, guys. Whether it's, and it, and it doesn't always have to be money, guys. It can be just time. I'll end with this. <clears throat> Up the street. Go to the end of my street two blocks away. And just across the street, the main street, is a nursing home that probably houses... 500 to 1,000 people, maybe in 2,000. It's a pretty big nursing home, guys. A pretty big one. I could walk there, especially on a nice day like today. Well, probably been almost two years ago, but the Lord sent us to Normal, Illinois. Never heard of it, but I had to Google it. Of course it existed. <clears throat> um, but there was a town out there, that, and it, it was up in Iowa, not Iowa, I'm sorry. Um, Illinois. Lost track of my thoughts. And he highlighted this town. But the town didn't really exist because up there, they use it. They use, they call them townships, some of them. And it's just basically to have a zip code for the farmers because we got to this supposed town and it was just a cornfield. Go to the left or the right, you know, and the, the road ended and you could go to the left or the right. And the sign said, here we are, and there it was, and it was gone. We ended up in a totally different town called Mount Pleasant, Illinois. But he told me to go to four nursing homes. He said, go to the nursing homes. And I was like, man, God, that's, you know, eight, nine hundred miles away. I'm one up the street. But when we got there, we did. There was just one guy. We ministered, I ministered to one guy, and I know he's, I'm sure he's passed away now. He was on oxygen and um, taking a break to smoke, of all things, and had stage four cancer. I mean, he, you could see it in his eyes. He was almost gone. Um, I believe his name was Dave, and then we ministered to several other people, and we ended up staying there for three, two days, two and a half days, when we were only going to stay there one, because we were on our way to somewhere else. But... There was an old guy, and his name was Clyde. He looked angry and mad, and my wife, my wife looked over at him. He was about 20 feet away, and the Lord sp had spoken to her earlier and said, I'm sending you after the one. God, it ended up being him being the one, because long story short, but two and a half days later on our way out, we ran into him again. We had to tried, to, we tried to track him down for two days. Um, long story, but... My wife ministered to him for over an hour and promised him to get him a Bible. We did get him a Bible. She signed it and put some, some scriptures that the Lord gave her to give into him. Um, and when we saw him, this, after two and a half days, man, he, he was dark, guys. Dark looking, darker than my screen, probably. Kind of lame, I get it. But um, he, he was so brilliantly lit up. And just, you could tell that he was changed. Nothing to do with us guys. But we went 900 miles away just to give in his life. So it could, what well, my point is, it could be time. Nursing homes, busting at the seams. Most of those people have nothing. People don't even come visit a lot of them. Um, you know, jailhouses, prisons, 
Hospitals are full. Mental houses are full. Maybe the bars. I, I, you know, this is, yeah, this is still giving. I mean, I am going to end with this. Really good friend of ours now after about three years. Um, <clears throat> works in the homeless industry. He was ministering one day. <clears throat> and this was part of his story. He was on crack. And he was by a dumpster and he said, man, God, I'm just tired of this life. I don't want to live like this anymore. He fell asleep. Two men from a ministry local, it's, uh, I think it's national even, but it's called Men of Nehemiah, but it's local here in Dallas too, but the local chapter or whatever you want to call it. Um, we're searching for people to, to minister to the giving of their time. And, you know, it wasn't somehow, there they were by the dumpster. Where this guy just prayed, fell asleep, led him back to the Lord. Long, long story, but it's a cool story. So the story is, God didn't meet him in a building. He met him behind a dumpster, a stinky place where he threw away trash. Like so many of us think our lives are or were. Same with a lot of these people in all these, you know, all these places and these nursing homes and these poor people. And I mean, I don't know, guys. Just give. So... Here's the list. Um, you can email me at jesusisalive at gmail.com. Um, you know, let's connect some kind of way, maybe. It'd just be for the holidays. So I'm going to make the holidays all year long, guys, honestly. Um, Jesus is alive in America.com. You can blog with us. Um, or you can just Google Jesus is Alive in America and find it. So anyhow, we love you guys. Um, just just give. Give from your heart, though. So please check these people out. Um, and like I said, if nothing else, just you got the list. Pray for those people. And there's many others. I got several others that just kind of broke my heart about some of this stuff. And it's like, that's all I want to do. Is I want to just be able to connect the body. So however that looks, I may not be able to connect everybody. Um, and it may be just you connecting with your neighbor and your church or whatever, or your local assembly or whatever. Um, or your, like I said, or your neighbor or the guy in the cubicle next year, gal in the cubicle next year, whatever, you know, or your office or just connect and give. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to be money. It can be just kind words to the guy at Subway that. You know, it's making seven, eight, nine bucks an hour, gal. And is having a rough go of things. Just even the kind word to the guy at the gas station, the convenience store. Or whatever, you know. Walmart, you know. I mean, there's a lot of people going through, so just, just give, guys, out of your heart. Love you. Um, let's connect some kind of way, too, honestly. I just got some really really godly things going on and i know they are and yes i do need some help so let's connect but you know come down and just hear my heart or come down and visit us at the shelter um any sunday night um down, down dallas just love you guys talk to you soon uh thanks bye bye you can help me with these videos because i'm man you know i'm not doing that great with them they're kind of hard to see me probably and all that it's kind of lame you know but Trying to sensationalize them either. So, anyhow, I love you guys. Talk to you soon.